Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gus and Show Associates. Uh, pricing alone uh, can be really tricky and a consumer may not understand why their rate's so much higher than the rate that's on the sign at the bank when you're driving down the street. There's different layers of risks that go into pricing alone and they've come up, some actually came up with the, this is what it's going to cost. That's what, this is what we need to charge a borrower to pay for that risk that they might foreclose because they have a different layer of risk. So, for example, if you put 3% down versus 20% down, you're going to get a worse rate because there's a layer of risk that if you foreclose, the bank's going to lose money when they foreclose on it and have to take over the house and sell it, fix it up. So that's one layer of risk that they're, they're looking for. If you're buying a condominium versus a um, single family home. Condominiums are the first thing to go in the downturn in an economy because they're, they're uh, places that you that are not like your home. A lot of them people rent them out. But anyway, it's, it's, it's the first place that goes because it, people trash them inside the, the condominium buildings. They get trashed really easy. So there's a risk to them that the condominium itself is going to hurt. Maybe you're going to pay your bills on time, but the condominium is going to is going to fall apart as a whole and then therefore you're going to not like it. So kind of many must take a hit so there's an extra charge for the rate. Um, so if you're looking for a 3% down condo expect a high rate. Here's another adjustment that's really bad. If you're buying a house investment there's a large hit to the rate. Now you can't buy down three you can't buy 3% down investment but if you're doing a 20% down investment condominium um, you're going to get a high high rate because of the fact that it's investment and it's a condo. Now, if your credit score is low, that's another adjustment. So you got low credit score, condominium, investment. Oh, you're gonna get whacked on the rate. And one more major adjustment is cash out. Let's say you're gonna do cash out on your investment property that's a condo and you got low credit score. You may not even be able to get a, a rate that doesn't cost you two or three points because they don't price it where really you can get that kind of, those kind of adjustments can be absorbed because the rates pay a certain amount on the high, if you take the highest rate that's on the board that's allowed, there may be a three point credit. And what that means is that three points would go to you if you took that high rate, but you want the low rate, it's called the par rate, but the higher rate may pay three points extra. So anything above that par goes to the, to the buyer or the refinancer. And sometimes the adjustments will cost five points when you add up 1.75 for investment. 0.75 for condominium, 1.75 for cash out. All these adjustments add up, and if it's greater than the highest rate on the board, then it becomes a cost to you. So those are layers of risk that will cost you money or cost you a higher rate that consumers don't understand. They think that we're trying to rip you off, and they have to call around to make sure they're not, and then they find out that that's, that's not the case. And there's one more layer of risk. It's loan amount. For some reason, banks don't like low loan amounts. $100,000 loan amount, condo, investment, cash out. That's as, that's as bad as it gets for you. So um, those, are, those are the, the layers of risk. Now there are some other adjustments but they aren't necessarily required. They're not risks that you have to take on. But some people like to do what's called the lender paid mortgage insurance. That means there's no PMI but you take a higher rate and there's an adjustment for that. So there's many different adjustments that goes into the pricing of the rate. So don't hate your loan officer when, you, when he tells you it's 5% when the going rate on the street sign says 4. That 4% is for someone with 780 credit, 20% down, single family home, $400,000 loan amount. So that's the type of pricing that you see advertised. Don't be fooled. Buy that low rate. It's just like a TV commercial you see Mercedes Benz. Buy this $150,000 car for $399 a month. Well, if you look at the fine print, it's you know with $100,000 down. You know you're leasing it for two years with a $6,000 penalty at the end. So. You gotta look at the fine print, but I just wanna let you know why there's so many layers of risk, so many adjustments, what they are, and to go along with your loan officer, he's not trying to hurt you. We're heavily regulated. We have to give you a certain rate. We can't veer from that rate. We're not looking to, we're not making any more money by giving you a higher rate. So keep that in mind. Those are layers of risk. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Please like this video, please share it, and thank you very much for watching Gustin Cho Associates.